Too Good To Go is a mobile app uh, which is all about addressing and tackling food waste. So our main thing is to inspire and empower consumers to take action against food waste. So quite simply, it's a free platform that connects consumers with businesses such as retailers, um, cafes and supermarkets who have surplus food for sale. Okay, so since 2016, uh, we've actually rescued over 11 million meals from going to waste. So the, these were meals which are destined to, uh, destined to go in, into the bin, but our waste warriors have actually come and collected them. So we now have 8 million registered consumers across nine countries in Europe. So those include the UK, France, Germany, Denmark, and a list of many more. Um, so our big thing is really about inspiring and empowering these consumers to take action against food waste. So for them, I, I think the really the tangible thing that we've done is, is we've partnered with over 15,000 different retailers across Europe and ensure that that food doesn't end up in the bin. For businesses, I think it's, it really is a win-win situation. So when we're talking to businesses, it's all about food which couldn't be sold. So it's all food that was about to go into the bin. And it's about, for us, it's about making sure that that food can be consumed uh, for food's purpose, which is to be eaten. So really it allows businesses to do the right thing. I mean, no one really wants to be throwing food away. And when we, have, we look at things like the Sustainable Development Goals, there really is a, a push towards reducing, reducing food waste. Um, but it's also a great way to recover sunk costs. So all businesses know that you know, disposing of, of food waste costs money. So if we can prevent that food from being in the bin and ensure that, ensure that it goes to, 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 to somebody's tummy, then you know, we've, uh, we've actually um, recovered some of those costs. And you know, one thing to point out with the app itself is people are paying for this food. Um, they are paying a reduced price, but it's food that would otherwise go in the bin. So it's allowing businesses to recover this sunk cost. And I think finally, our big thing is this sense of discovery. When people go onto the app, they don't actually know what food they're going to collect. It's all this magic bag, this magic concept, because if we knew what food was going to be wasted, we'd probably try and prevent that in the first place. Um, so people are discovering, uh, discovering stores and restaurants, cafes, whatever ever it may be, but they're also discovering new things on the menu. So you know, when we see that, it's, it's allowing people to reach to a different type of consumer and, and acquire new customers at the same point. Um, we recently did a survey to over 20,000 users here in the UK and 58% said that they, they would return or had returned to a, uh, to a partnering store as a full paying customer. So we see that it's a great thing for CSR, it's also a great thing for recovering sunk costs and as well as about um, acquiring new customers. So with Too Good To Go, it's, it's about inspiring and empowering people to take action against food waste. And the first way that we can try and measure this is through the amount of meals that we've saved. So we've saved 11 million meals and from that we can, we can work out the amount of CO2 emissions that we've prevented from being released. But at the same time we want to have an indirect impact which is slightly hard, hard, harder to measure. Um, and it's really about building this movement around food waste. So we recently just did a campaign in Denmark which is where, we, uh, where our headquarters lie. And it was all about surrounding sell-by dates. So we, we partnered up with a lot of large retailers and manufacturers and distributors, so Unilever and Carlsberg and things like that. Um, and it was about sh shifting the way that we, we perceive, uh, perceive sell-by dates. So we've changed it from uh, best before to best before but good after. And this has now been adopted by lots of different re retailers and distributors across Denmark and we're seeing how we can really have an even bigger impact in reducing food waste across the, um, across the whole supply chain. So people always ask me what does success really look like for Too Good To Go? And to be brutally honest, success would mean going out of business because food waste do doesn't exist. Now is that something that's achievable and attainable in, in the immediate future? Probably not. So for us, success is all about growing as big as we can because the bigger we are, the more meals we can save and the more food we've prevented from going, going to waste. So we want to grow and grow as much as we can uh, to be truly global and be totally synonymous with everything to do with food waste and sustainability. Mm -hmm.